Hello, everyone. I am an architect with GlideFast Consulting, and today I'm going to demonstrate a new CMDB feature in Tokyo called CI Attestation. CI Attestation is used to verify the existence of infrastructure and applications that you own systematically and in bulk. As CIs are continuously ingested into the CMDB from various data sources, Attestation can ensure the integrity of the CMDB and enable the customer to update or remove stale CIs that are associated with infrastructure or applications that no longer exist. CI Attestation uses the CMDB Data Manager to create an attestation policy, which specifies CIs that need to be attested and the attestation frequency. Attestation tasks can be assigned to users that are familiar with or that manage the CIs and who can attest to or reject the infrastructure or applications that those CIs represent. Rejected CIs that are no longer needed can then be retired, archived, or deleted from the CMDB. In this demo, I'll create a CMDB data manager attestation policy to automatically create attestation tasks based on defined criteria. The criteria I will demonstrate today will create attestation tasks when CIs have a most recent discovery date that is more than three months ago. One should note that if you try to create an attestation policy in CMDB Data Manager and CSDM has not been activated yet, you will get an error message. Be sure to install the CSDM activation plugin before using CI attestation. To start, I have navigated to the CMDB Data Manager. I'm going to click on View Policies, and I see an attestation policy that I've already created. I've given this attestation policy the name of Test Attestation Policy. I've set the policy type to Attestation. I've set the Task Assignment Group, or the group that will be assigned the attestation tasks, to the managed by group that is defined in the CI itself. I've also set the task due date to five days from the time the attestation job is run. In the condition filter area, I've selected that the, this policy applies to Windows servers, and I've specified the additional criteria of the most recent discovery date is empty, or that the most recent discovery date is more than three months ago. Down below, I've selected a daily schedule to run the attestation job. When I click Save, I'm giving an option to preview the policy, which I will then do by clicking on the Preview button in the upper right. Here I see that there will be 80 CIs impacted by this policy and one attestation task may be generated by this policy based on the managed by group contents that are located in the various, populated in the various CI items. Now that I've previewed this policy, I'm going to click publish. Now that I've published the policy, I'm going to navigate to scheduled jobs. And I will see here in the scheduled jobs that there is a scheduled job called test attestation policy processor. And that job name is based on the policy name that I gave to this attestation policy. Since this job is defined to only run at one o'clock in the morning, I'm going to click execute now to run this job immediately. I'm now going to navigate over to the CMDB workspace. And in the CMDB workspace, I'm showing some attestation tasks that were created earlier. I got to this attestation view by clicking on the attestation icon, which is located under the home icon. And I can see that one CMDB attestation task has been created. 
I'm going to open that task up. And here I can see that there are 80 CIs to view and see at the top that this is assigned, what team it's assigned to and what user it's assigned to process this attestation task. Some other items of note are that the attestation tasks are also visible in the CMDB data manager. If I click on view open tasks, it will show me the same attestation tasks. If I then open one of the tasks, I can see down below in the related lists, the CMDB CIs that are part of this task to attest to. Be sure to add this related list if you ha don't have it defined already. Here is another way to show the CMDB data management tasks in a list view. And here is a way to show that CMDB data policy execution runs that resulted from the scheduled job executing. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.